Hello everyone, so welcome back to Dilip IT Academy and I hope you all are gone through my first session of microservices in my YouTube channel. Yes, we are going to see one of the most important powerful tool as part of microservices architecture and in distributed systems point of view called as Spring Cloud API Gateway. So what is the importance of API Gateway? Here it is. For example, when you are working with multiple microservices, yes, right? So microservices means we have multiple applications. So whenever we are exposing all these applications or microservices to the client, so usually the client side implementation will become difficult. The reason is we are having multiple services and as well as multiple port numbers and all these things. So managing multiple port numbers from the client side, it will lead to a lot of complexity. And that is one of the reason. And second, the most important thing is it's not about only client side implementation. And when it comes to services point of view also, when you are implementing something like cross cutting concerns, especially like authentication, authorization, as well as logging across all the requests and responses which are coming from the client side, managing all these things at each and every microservice level will become a difficult scenario. So that's why to centralize all these things in place, we have a concept called as Cloud API Gateway. So now what Spring Cloud API Gateway will do is in this case, it is just acting as a single entry point and as well as exit point with respect to all client communications to our distributed systems or microservices. So that means by using API gateway, we can implement all centralized things, especially like security implementation and as well as we can route all the incoming requests to respective microservices from every client. So that means client is always having an interaction with API gateway and then API gateway will route that request to respective microservices once it is validated all the basic security checks of that request. So that means we are centralizing all microservices accessibility by using API gateway. So in this session, what exactly I'm going to cover the importance of API gateway as well as what are the features available under Spring Cloud API gateway. And we will see step-by-step -step implementation with respect to gateway creation. And we will see how we are managing microservices. And we will see how we are routing all microservices via API gateway. Nothing but we are going to see the routing configuration also step-by-step -by, -step by creating a couple of microservices. So by end of this session, definitely you are in a situation like you are going to create your own API gateway application as part of your microservices project.